Hi, this is a quick look review of the Airfix World War I British Infantry. This is 172 scale. Uh, this set has been reissued plenty of times over the years. I think the original sets came from the 1960s, um, but it's been released plenty of times over the years. I got this set a few years ago. This is the box. Vintage classics, there you go. And the other side of the box just shows the poses. See, in these 172 scale sets, there can be plenty of poses. <coughs> no. Start. There are some. 1966. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, very nice set. Um, however, there was a lot of flashing on these figures, so it was a bit of a pain in the neck to get the flash off. He used uh, a wire and heated the wire to get the, the flash off because of the kind of plastic these figures are made of. It's hard to get off with a, with a, with a knife. So, uh, not a bad set. Start off with these figures. I suppose here. Of course, this is already World War One. <clears throat> the peak, the 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 caps. Yeah, and like the molding on someone isn't great. So the face is a bit. Yeah, to know that they use the same. Moles over the years didn't change them because I don't know. So the officer, the only officer of the set, I guess. Dead or injured soldier. Yeah. Right. I like this figure. Or the, or the Red Cross, or whatever. <clears throat> kneeling and firing <clears throat> and none of the figures in this set have um any none of the rifles the enfield rifle has a, has a bayonet which is on the uh package you can see the bayonets so the figures themselves oh. okay the standard kneeling and firing goals this set the only <clears throat> One of these in the set is, um, I don't know, <clears throat> it's supposed to be a, a wiring party, it's not supposed to be barbed wire. So, it's a flag signaler, two of these in the set. I painted these figures in a, uh, in a khaki cutter, um, Hornbow number 26 acrylic. That's khaki cutter. So. This is one of my favourite poses in the set. Uh, running towards the enemy or running away. Or. These figures would be suitable for, like, you know, <clears throat> the really outbreak of war, say, in the August, September, 1914, kind of thing. The British didn't get steel helmets until 1916. Standing and firing. Standard, standard, standing and firing pose. Yeah. 
This running pose here, um, <clears throat> I'm not really mad about it because this is, you know, it looks awkward. Look, just the figures like leaning forward with the fall on it. it. Looks like he's gonna fall on his head or something. I don't think it's badly done. I think. Even, yeah, same pose. They all, they're all the same. They all look, they all looks a bit awkward looking. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep them, keep them on, just keep them steady. Much prefer this uh, much prefer this um, running pose. <clears throat> so this figure here. Not too sure what he's supposed to be doing, I don't know. Getting some of the butt of his rifle. Trying to get to wire or something, or um, I like the marching pose. There's four of these in the set. <coughs> Sorry, it's gonna be hard to kind of zoom in on these figures like these when they're the small. Um, there, I like that. I like that figure. Um, next, uh, <clears throat> patrol, I think it's called a Mills bomb. And just prone position firing. Oh. One of my favorite figures in the set this one. <clears throat> Shorter range or whatever. And so, uh, start here, this, uh, it's like a mortar. Apparently, though, the British didn't use mortars until 1916 or so. <clears throat> which time they wouldn't have been wearing the, the cap. So, this setup is probably, is a, it's probably wrong for the time if it's early World War One. No, it's a very basic looking mortar, obviously. You know, the real mortar would have been <clears throat> better looking than that. And last but not least, the machine gunners. Um, <clears throat> Most of you think a Vicar is gone. Yeah, and a very uh, simple, obviously, model of it. I mean, you know. Yeah, very, very simple model of it, but uh, so uh, yeah, that's the set of World War One British infantry. By Airfix. <clears throat> um, very nice set overall. Just like I said, the uh, flashing was a pain in the ass. Trying to get the flashing off and all that. It's pretty, you know. <clears throat> Some of the mouldings and 
it would be great. <clears throat> but I do like the number of poles you get in these sets. Yeah, that's, these figures are perfect for 19, is it, for 1914. And the British first one over to France. So that's it then. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you again to all the subscribers. And those who like and comment on my videos, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Have a nice day.